Hi everyone and welcome to Billy Fitzgerald Golf and today I want to talk to you about how your left hip releases or pushes away from the golf ball and that allows your right arm to get on the back of the shaft to get on the back of the ball and how your how it enables your right hip right shoulder to release properly through the strike now in previous videos we've we've talked a lot about swinging back getting your getting your right hip out of the way so your arm has room to swing into the golf ball. Okay, that's great, but the swing doesn't end there. What happens after that? Well, once we get into your, into your lead leg here, your left hip pushes away, which allows your right, right hip and allows your arm to get onto the back of the shaft and it keeps moving all the way through the strike. So if I went from this angle Again, if we get right here, you can see my hip sockets back. I get the handle of the club right here. Now as this left hip pushes out of the way, it allows my entire right side to release through the ball without moving into the ball. That's the biggest thing. I think the biggest mis misconception is that we hear a lot about, you know, we want to clear through the ball. Well, again, I don't disagree, but if we, if we don't move away from the ball and clear, here's what happens. And I see this way too much, is that as people clear, they get closer and closer and closer to the ball. So what happens to my hands? My hands get closer to the ball, which is gonna open the face and get the face way behind me. Now I'm into a position where I have to flip, flip the golf club. So if you can imagine this, once we swing back and get into our lead foot, here's where we want the face of the club. It's in line with my hands and it's square. From there, I just want the face to go right into the ball. So as my left hip pushes away, see it allows my side, my whole trail side to move into the golf ball. And now as I keep moving, keep moving, that golf club is closing to the target, but it's 90 degrees to my swing arc. So there's no flip in the face. As soon as I, again, as soon as I start moving into the ball, my hands move in, the face gets behind and open and now I've got, I've got a lot of timing and flipping to do. So, to feel that, to feel how this, this is releasing this way and now my, my trail side can release, I want you to pull your left foot back. So your left toe and your right heel are in line with each other. Now we're just gonna make some half swings, so we're gonna get it to about right here so we feel like the face, my palm is slightly down to the ground, it's not completely down, but it's, it's 90 degrees is my swing arc. So you're gonna feel how the, how the face gets 90 degrees to the swing arc, and as this pushes away, now my right side can release. Get it right here, as that pushes away, my right side can release. You can see there's no flip in the club. So we get ready to go here. Left side's back. You're gonna get here. Now I can feel how I can very clearly feel my right side release, my left hip got out of the way, and my right side can release. I think a lot of us get into, well, my right hip can't move into the ball, so when I swing back, I'm just gonna keep my right hip there and swing my arms. Well, that's gonna, that's gonna flip the face again. So as you'll start to notice, that this push away here is timed with the face. So, so if I get, so again, if I get here and go, go fast, and go way before it, the face is going to be open. If I'm, if I'm late with it, the face is going to close. So we start to learn how as I'm pushing away, it accelerates the face of the club and makes it go right down the line. Let's hit one more. So now if I face the camera and I do this, right here, so when I swing back, see I'm just getting about right here, so the face is in perfect position. As my left hip is pushing away, it accelerates my arm, and now I can finish left. So you can see how my hip is moving towards the target, not towards the golf ball. So as my left hip gets out of the way, it allows my entire right side to release. Let's hit one more. So again, you'll get ready to go. Pull your front foot back. So we're just getting right here, and the reason we only go right here is because I can't really get my hip out of the way. So right here, so back. So you can feel as my left hip pushes away, my 
entire trail side can release, keeps the face square, accelerates the club, so there's no timing in that. So do this and I know you're going to hit it farther and straighter. Like and subscribe to my channel, Billy Fitzgerald Golf. Want to take a live lesson from me or you have a question? Visit me at BillyFitzgeraldGolf.com. And thanks for watching.